Hello everyone, this is Jackie Williams and in this video I want to share with you a quick card idea you can do using your 6x6 papers. So what you want to have is a paper where the front and the back, so both sides coordinate with each other. They don't necessarily have to be the same color, but they need to coordinate with each other. Now, above or below this video, depending on your device, I have written out a very simple template with some simple instructions, so you can download that for free. You don't have to write down measurements as we go along. So the first thing is you wanna take your six by six paper and you want to trim off half of an inch. Then we're gonna just set that aside. We will use that. We're gonna turn it so the six inch side is across the top. And on the six inch side, we're gonna score it at one half inch and four and three quarter inches. From there, we want to crease those score lines, one going one way and one going the other way. So it will be kind of a Z shape initially. So this is actually going to be our card front. So make sure those prints are facing the way that you ultimately want them to. Then you need a piece of cardstock that is about four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And we're going to adhere this to this little half inch piece here. Now I found it helpful to actually line this piece up with these three edges, these three, and then just fold that flap over. Now you can leave it like this to use as few pieces as possible. However, I like the idea of, of actually cutting two of these four and a quarter by five and a half pieces of cardstock and just laying another one over top just to hide that join or that seam, but that is completely optional. Okay, then let's go back to the front. Oh, just as a side note, it's actually quite cute that you've got the other side of the paper showing on the inside of the card too. Now going back to the front, uh, you will want another piece of cardstock coordinating. It doesn't have to be the same color as this one, just some kind of a coordinating color could be some of your specialty glitter papers, for example. And you're just going to, going to want to slide that in. So just a little bit of showing. And then we'll take this piece that we cut off earlier and go ahead and put this in as well. Now I should say, and I should have said right at the beginning of the video, this card was inspired by a little template that my friend Susan Sparrow sent to me. And then I've taken her idea and just played around with it. Then you'll just need to trim that little bit off the end. Now you can glue this down flat, or I actually liked it putting a few dimensionals behind here. But whichever way you prefer. And there we go. That is your basic card front. So from here, you would just add some images or words, some embellishments, ribbon and um, gems as you wish. But this is a nice way to showcase your designer series paper as well as make use of your six by six papers. Now here is the finished one using these same inked and tiled papers, just a different print. And for this one, I kept it very simple. I just added a sentiment and then a little bit of linen thread and some sequins. And then again, you've got that nice pop of color on the inside. Now I have a few stepped up versions to share with you. This one is using the beautiful Irresistible Blooms papers. And for this one, I used the elegant border dies and tucked that in instead of the plain strip of paper. So that's an option too. And then just added again, words, ribbon and some embellishments. For this sample, I've used the Fresh as a Daisy papers and then combined them with the Dainty Delights dies, which has these cute daisy images in it. And so for this one, I've stepped it up because I've added die cuts as well as sentiment and embellishments. I've also used this scallop die from the Zany Zoo Suite 
instead of adding the plain strip there. I thought all of that were very complementing to these pretty daisy prints in these papers. And this one is probably my favorite one. This one is using the Bold and Beautiful papers. And this comes in a suite with balloons and party things, but actually the prints on these papers are, are fairly generic. So you can pair them with, with a lot of different things. And for this sample, I've used the basic borders die in here for that zigzag effect, and then use the tropical leaf bundle and a little bit of water coloring for something quite different with those leaf dies. And then on the inside, you've got again that, that nice print and a little bit more stamping. And then this sample, I've used the Earthen Elegance bundle. And you can see here that I've rotated it from this direction to this direction. So either way works depending on you know what your images uh, you want to use. And use that gorgeous wavy trim. I love that. And um, the Earth and Elegance papers and dies and stamps with that one for, for a little more of a sophisticated effect. So there are all my samples. I hope that inspires you to pull out your 6x6 six six papers or your 12x12s 12 and trim them down and give this card a try. Thanks so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, Please share with your friends, leave me a comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see you next video. This is Jackie Williams. Bye-bye.